hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am waxing a voluptuous plus size model um a lot of you guys have been asking me to do another video just to clarify a few things so we'll go over those in the video and it's a special treat because it's a two for one um you can see here we have the tampon string which means she's on her cycle it is absolutely okay to wax clients on their cycles you just have to make sure that you let them know that it may be a little sensitive and of course they have to wear a tampon okay so the first thing i'm going to do and I, what i recommend doing is always take the tampon and tuck it in between the butt cheeks so it's out of sight out of mind okay and whenever you have to move the tampon just talk to your client and let them know what you're doing so it doesn't feel uncomfortable for them so we're going to start off by just cleansing the area as always as always oh god i can't even talk to you guys and then we're going to add a little cornstarch to keep the area nice and dry if you guys haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button guys and like this video help a sister out it only takes one second to do both of those things add a little dazzle 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 and you don't need so much corn star it's just a little goes a long way just make sure you just spread it out and of course throughout the um wax session you may have to add some more it all varies on the client so the first thing first guys Make sure that you're not afraid to have your clients be your personal assistant when they are getting waxed, especially plus size um, clients. So she's just gonna hold right here for me and just kind of like let them know, hey, can you hold right there for me, please? Perfect. As you can see, it allows the area to be um, completely exposed for you to see what you're doing. So we're gonna begin waxing. And remember what we talked about earlier, not using so much wax, right? And we're gonna start off on the bikini line. So I'm just gonna hold this area taut. And look how I spread my fingers out so it gives me more of a stretch on her uh, skin. How's the temperature of the wax? It's fine. All right, she says it's fine, so we're gonna keep going. If you had a new client, I always let them know that it is normal for it to feel a little warm over here, guys. The skin's a lot thinner on the bikini line area. And in most cases, like most clients, just like warm stuff anyways. So once that's done, you can hold it for about five seconds, guys, just to allow it time to dry before you let go. And then we can do the other side because even though we're waxing um, a plus size client, we still need to finish this wax in a decent amount of time. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. And because I'm angled at a different um, position on the bed, I don't really need to hold the skin as taut. So I'm standing this way when I'm doing this side, and then I'm standing this way what I'm doing this strip. Everyone's different. It's just a technique that works for me. Hold the skin taut, guys. Remember, if you're not giving them a facelift, it's not taut enough. Readjust and soothe. These dry quickly because they're not as thick as they should be. Now we're gonna move on to the top side in the labia. The same thing, remember we talked about wax control? Look at this, right? Hold the skin taut and do a nice strip going across. Nice for me, this client has soft hair, so I don't really have to worry too much about um, the wax cracking or anything like that. If her hairs were on the thicker side, then I'd be concerned and I'd make my strips a little thicker. The same thing for one of the labias. Always let your clients know that this may be a more sensitive area. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to just take a look. You can see where the hair stops inside her labia. So I'm not gonna hold it open until I get a little close. Start on the outside as always. And then just get in there. And you don't always have to spread those labia lips open with the index and um, thumb finger. Sometimes some people just don't have as much hair in there. So over here, we're holding the skin taut, giving this a little lift pressure and soothe. Now look how clean that looks guys compared to the other side, right? You guys see that? Now we're going to do the other side because we're always moving. Hold the skin top over here because that's where I'm starting. Apply the wax. And just remember to keep your stick nice and perpendicular so you can smooth that wax out. Use the wax on both sides of the stick. We don't waste wax. I'm gonna put my camera up a little bit for you guys. 
There we go. So this is already dry, by the way. You guys know I'm a speed waxer and mermaid wax helps me achieve that speed. Oh, that rhymes on some uh, Dr. Seuss shit today, guys. Let me see if I can show you guys a strip. I don't know why. I like sharing the goodies with you. Let me see. Oh, yeah. There we go. Y'all know my camera be tripping sometime with the focus, but it's doing good today. We're gonna take this off now. Pressure, pressure. To the other side. And then one thing that's always common with plus size girls is that this area right here may seem like it's lifting, but it's not, it even happens with me. Um, so it happens with a lot of people. So don't feel crazy about it, guys. It's completely normal after the first strip for it to look like it's lifted. Um, as an esthetician, you should be able to just kind of analyze the skin and you determine whether or not you want to go over that area again. Now for me, I know that just doing a thinner strip makes it better because it's going to dry instantly. You won't really have time to focus on staying on her too long. So I'm going to just do this quick strip right here. And I do over here because these hairs are still on the pubic side. And so I like to make sure my clients are nice and clean. There we go. And then now we'll leave that area alone. So now we're going to get right here. If you guys notice, she's still holding that skin for me. She's making sure that it's still nice and taut for me. So make sure you're not afraid to ask for help when you are waxing your clients. I promise you, they don't care. They just want all the hair gone. They'll do whatever you need them to do to assist you in making that happen. I do get asked a lot. Um, one of the questions, maybe like three times a week, is if I wax, you know, uh, plus size women. And it's like, if you have hair, I wax you. I don't care what size you are. We're gonna find a way to get up in there and get the hair out. I know that. So this is dry, pressure, pressure. So be prepared guys to expand your clientele. Everyone gets wax, okay? And pressure. Now we just have this one and then just clean up. And the method too with me picking up less wax and doing thinner strips, as you notice like her hairs are coming up really, really good on the first pull. So imagine like my cleanup strips. It's gonna be just an easy wax. And just, you know, you don't have to move super quick, but if you take a look here, a little wax goes a long way as long as you just move in a timely manner with it and control it. Remember what I said, guys, make that wax your bitch, right? It's not going to wait for you. You have to work with it or it's going to work against you. We're gonna clean up here. It's very thin strips on the cleanup. Literally one hair hanging out up top there. Whenever I have extra wax on my stick, I always try to make use of it. This one's already dry. Hold the skin taut and pressure. Oh, look at this one. I'm coming. I think it's gonna show you. Well, I mean, I guess you guys can still kind of see it. My camera sucks. Anywho, back to the waxing. <laughs> We're going to take this one off, do the other side, and then we're going to clean up the labias. Make sure you guys watch this video till the end. I got a surprise at the end of this video for you, especially if you want to see me do a budget show on this client. A lot of you guys have been telling me you're experiencing a hard time with plus size budget shows, so we're going to talk you through that and get you through it. Y'all know big girls need some pampering too, okay? We work just as hard as y'all skinny bitches. Everything dries quickly with the cleanups because your strips are thinner. Oh, whenever you have like extra wax on your stick and you notice like you can't use your stick, 
to pick this up, that's why. You gotta wipe it on your gloves or something. Labia cleanups. Just a little more cornstarch. Open this up just to make sure everything's dry in there. And this time, because we have less hair, remember that the wax may feel warmer in this area. So if you can't get in there like I can, like you see, I'm still using my index. Because some clients I can't do this for. Sometimes I have to reposition them. And I'll show you guys the position after I wax her. I'll do this side in this position and then the other side in the opposite position that most of you probably will end up doing. Just a little cleanup strip. There's not really much hair in there, which is perfect. And remember what I always tell you guys, if you feel like you need more wax, get more wax. I'd rather you do that than the strip breaking on you or the strip being incomplete. So I just want to put more wax right here and just bring this up just a little bit. So just enough wax to do what you need it to do. Don't be wasting it. Just like that. Now I feel happy with this strip. Looks like more complete to me. So I'm going to wave this strip so it dries fast because there's nothing else for me to do. Everything else is basically cleaned up. I don't see hair anywhere so besides this side that we're going to do the other position on just waving it so it dries faster use the back of your gloves to make sure it's dry hold the skin taut right here haha -ha, there we go perfect so what we're going to do now is we're going to pretend like she's a client where i can't get in there right you're going to take this leg and we're going to have her put it up just like that and then take the other leg and have her put it up the same way kind of like the pregnancy uh position when you're about to get birth, right? I mean, I'm not delivering no baby though, but you guys know what I mean. So it's a little easier for you guys this way, especially because it opens up this bottom area. So now, as you can see, we can still get in there. Just avoid the tampon. And that's why I do marker tool when I'm doing the um, lip area, because it helps you control the wax on your stick. Okay, and I purposely didn't grab enough wax just so I can show you guys how we can just go back to the wax pot, grab a little bit more, and complete your wax strip. A lot of you guys are failing to do that. Complete your wax strip, okay? Look at that, wet wax right there, spread it out. And just like that, you have a complete strip now. After that, we're gonna do her butt strip. And then you guys are going to stay tuned because I'll have the positional video uploaded right after. So this part isn't quite dry yet. You see how this all came down without that? Don't freak out. All you got to do is just take your stick, press down, and lift up. And it usually comes up. And now it's gone. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to do her butt strip. Um, my client is able to throw her legs back, show, show you how she made them babies. We're going to take her tampon string and we're going to put it in between her lips now. You see? So it's out of the way. We can complete the butt strip area without pulling on the tampon. It has happened where I've trained people and they've called me days later telling me that they accidentally pulled the tampon out. What do they do? And I'm just thinking to myself, like, put another one in, maybe? <laughs> like, I don't know. I promise you when it comes to waxing, there's a solution for every problem that you may run into. If you are not a good problem solver, then waxing probably isn't for you. You gotta quick, uh, you gotta think quick on your feet sometimes. I'm not perfect. I still make shitloads of mistakes. You guys just don't see them all. Y'all not gonna catch me slipping that much. Use the back of my stick. So you can still get a nice 15 minute wax or less with a plus size client, guys. Don't feel discouraged. Get all the wax out of there. All right, now she can go ahead and straighten out her legs. And basically I'm going to take just a quick look at the top area here, make sure it looks good. Even if it looks good, guys, whenever I'm waxing um, women of color, I always just do a strip just in case because the hair typically blends in with the skin. 
So it's kind of like my just in case strip up here. Maybe nothing on this strip, but better to be safe than sorry. My clients also appreciate the thoroughness. That's why they come back all the time. That's why it's hard for me to upload these videos. I'm too busy waxing them. And just like that, guys, 15 minute wax. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you stay tuned. I have the vajayshul video that you guys can watch on how to do a vajayshul on a plus size. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I appreciate you guys. We made it to 13,000 subscribers, and I'm so grateful for every last one of you. Until next time, bye.